My name is Finley, and I love to fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the WWE United States Championship. Introducing first from Belfast, Ireland, weighing in at 233 pounds, he is the United States Champion, Finley. Now here's Finley, the United States Champion, set to take on longtime friend William Regal yet again tonight. Former friends throwing friendship out the window, really, thanks to general manager Theodore Long, who made the first match between these two back at the Great American Bash. That, that peanut-headed George Jefferson wannabe Teddy Long has come between two friends, the Irish and the English. It's disgusting. And the challenger... From Blackpool, England, weighing in at 245 pounds, William Regal. And JBL, you see the look of determination of the face of William Regal. We had the opportunity to talk to Mr. Regal backstage earlier on today. He's telling us that he's been embarrassed and humiliated over the past couple of weeks, not only by Finley, but by Finley's little troll, that little bastard who lives under the ring. Michael, what's your, no, what's your language? That little leprechaun may have parents. You don't know. He's a leprechaun, Michael, and yes, Regal was embarrassed by the leprechaun. But the whole reason this happened is because Teddy Long, that peanut-headed George Jefferson, stepped in between two friends. These guys should never be fighting. They're pals, they're buddies, they're friends. Something you don't know about. I thought you were my friend. You thought wrong, pal. Finley and Regal set the hook up here. The United States Championship on the line. Over 17,000 strong in the Continental Airlines Arena. And they love JBL here, by the way. Yeah, you're a hometown hero. As Finley backs Regal into the corner. Michael, this is a swamp. I live in New York City. They love JBL because they want to be me. They want to have enough money to move over the river to where I live. They never will, but they live vicariously through me. I give them hope. Clean break for Finley quickly and Regal with a knee to the side of the face. And let's talk again about how physical this type of matchup is going to be against these two brawlers. Michael, it's like Gotti versus Ward. It's like Hagler versus Hearn. These two guys have not, neither one have taken a step back. They've been knocked back, but neither one have given an inch nor asked for quarter. Direct knees to the face and then a left hand by Regal quickly on top of the United States champion early. There's a knee right to the throat. Now forearm to the face cover and a kick out at one by Finley. This is like watching two grandmaster chess players. Neither one make mistakes. Both have seen everything that could possibly happen. Oh! That's what makes this matchup interesting. That under, that uppercut there rang the bell of Finley. Went for the Irish whip, reversal by Finley. Regal whipped across the ring. United States champion with a shoulder to the gut. Don't know why it's got to be an Irish whip just for us. He's from Ireland. Oh, and there's the unorthodox offensive style of Finley, the United States champion, taking it to Regal. Don't appreciate these racial sayings you have. A racial thing, that's what the moves call. Finley backing Regal into the ropes. Both of these men, extremely aggressive, extremely vicious, love to punish their opponents. Extremely. <laughs> you talking about putting gasoline on TNT on top of dynamite and lighting the fire. These two guys, oh, both, both love to fight big uppercut by regal yet again and there's oh nice suplex by regal dropping finley here's the cover shoulders down kick out at two another cover another kick out by the united states champion and look how regal covers his opponent no air no air whatsoever not so ever between himself and his opponent that slap fired hey, Finley up. Here we go. Here we go. The Shillelagh, we go. the weapon of choice <laughs> for the Irishman. You knew it had to happen sooner or later, Mago. We're about to be on. Oh, there he is. There he is. There's the oh, yeah. It's the leprechaun. Leprechaun. It's a leprechaun. It's a leprechaun. Down the from the apron. <laughs> and that little troll, <laughs> Finley's friend who lives under the ring, taking Regal up. And the referee never saw it. <laughs> I love him. I love him. It, what does he do when they pack up the ring? Does he live in the ring truck? How many of them are there, Michael? That's a great question. Oh, and Regal driven kidney first into the air. There could be a whole gaggle of leprechauns underneath the ring. A whole gaggle, I say. And Finley stopping on the, the fingers and the hands of Regal. Same hand that Regal had bitten by the leprechaun, so to speak, at the Great American Bash. And this is what I like. It's like Babalu, the great fighter. Oh, they hit anything that's available. They take advantage of any possible. Here's the cover. The United States Championship on the line. Another cover by Regal. Kick out again by the champion. Here's a third cover and another kick out. 
nothing pretty wow. about this matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. that is a knee directly to the temple. A headbutt, a rake of the face. How vicious is Regal tonight? <laughs> Michael, this is not pretty. This is smash mouth wrestling at its absolute finest. We have the two best smash mouth wrestlers in the world, Regal and Finley, right here on SmackDown. And they are going at it, hammer and tongue, and I love it. And again, similar styles, similar background for both of these gentlemen. Similar, it's like looking into a mirror for both of them. They just simply hit you with whatever they can. Knees, elbows, head, it doesn't matter. And this is what SmackDown is all about. Smash mouth in your no. face style. Look at the look on the face of Finley as it's driven into the knee supports on Regal. I said it wasn't pretty. I didn't mean Finley, but brother, he'd be better looking. Uh, he'd be ugly. He is the United States champion, oh, Finley. That's, that's why Irishman drinks so much beer. They can't stand to look at themselves in the mirror. Oh. That's why they're so mad. These two men are beating the hell out of each other for the United States championship. Finley. Well, people don't realize. Oh. That right there will knock your molars out. Regal the South by Cuspid, your eye teeth. The United States champion in all kinds of trouble. Here's the cover again, and a kick out of two. William Regal is taking it to the champion. And then, he's got up the ante. That's Finley Shillelagh ahead. Oh. It's Finley Shillelagh. Cut Regal off of the pass. Uses the Shillelagh to the gun. Referee Jimmy Corderas is going to call for the bell. Regal bought the Shillelagh in the red. What is he doing here? Lashley with what the Shillelagh in here. Lashley. He has an enzyme problem. What is Lashley doing here? He has been medically cleared to compete as reported on WWE.com this week. You mean he got his yellow streak off his back is what you mean. And look at Finley and Regal. The partnership's back. And look at Finley. A sneak attack from behind with the Shillelagh. Finley attacked Lashley with the Shillelagh. Then he attacked Regal. And the United States champion is slowly creeping out of the arena. And Lashley going to take out his anger on Regal. Running power slam. And I believe that a message has been sent to the United States champion, Finley. Lashley wants the title. Finley stole from his back. Lashley has put Finley on notice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight on SmackDown, the man who stabbed Rey Mysterio in the back and cost Rey Mysterio the world championship will address the controversy surrounding him tonight. Why did Chavo betray Rey? We'll find out tonight.